Welcome to Der el Zur in Syria, my friends. We are going to be playing with the Syrian army, uh, Assad's forces. And of course, we are getting some Russian reinforcements at some point during the battle. This is an especially tough fight because we not only have to get into the city and defend our allied soldiers, but we're going to have to defend an air spotter over here, and it ain't going to be easy. Let's just get started, get on with this operation, and see how it goes. Forward! All right, guys, uh, ISIS forces are already spotted. I mean, just immediately, actually. Did not want to do that. Sorry. Um, let's go ahead and switch that target, but we just want to get our boys up, start firing, and eventually we will... Um, actually let the men out of these vehicles, but in this mission, we have got to get really close. Already we got an engine damage, but we destroyed that vehicle. We've got to try to get over here, actually, uh, with some of our men, because we're going to have to protect an air spotter, and it's not going to be easy. <clears throat> Come on, get them. see ISIS on top here. Now, what we can do is actually get one of these squads out. Um, I can do the same with the other infantry squad and just take one of these buildings, start fighting back. In fact, we're going to do that right now with the Aurani fighters. We're going to try to take that building right there. Let's go, boys. Chassis is damaged, but hopefully that won't hurt us too much. And actually, never mind that building. That one's destroyed. Uh, I'm actually going to have them cross the street. I know it seems crazy. Uh, we'll toss a little bit of smoke as well. Just to be absolutely certain, but I'll give them some fire support to cross the street. It's very important to get into that area. And also to get a unit into this area. To just be engineers, that's good enough. Uh, to control the area here, uh, the ISIS area, officially. Alright, suburbs captured. That is good, boys. But of course, our assault squad is going into this building. It's not going to be easy. There are ISIS fighters everywhere. And I want to move these vehicles up. We don't want to get them too close to the front lines because they could come under uh, enemy fire. Uh, you know, actual... Uh, AT gun fire or RPG fire, but we are going to target that building right there. It's sort of the central ISIS command. Good shooting. We've got a tank with us, but I am not going to let these guys out of the vehicle yet because we're going to need them. At least I think we're going to need them. But you know what? Our boys are being forced out of this building. That's not good. They're actually just moving to the second story. Still not good. Let's go. Come on. Forward. Engineers pushing in, of course. We should have them just go ahead and attack these buildings. Might as well. Go for it, boys. All right. I sent an airstrike spotter. Now, this is where things get really tough. Um, we need to try and defend this airstrike, airstrike spotter. <laughs> what happened to you? Where are you? Right, commander of our BM crew hit his head when he was a kid. He flipped the map separated from the main group and drove into some transformer station. Our wheels are busted, but we managed to hit in some vista building. I have no idea where we are, but I need some radial mock next to our position. Send help ASAP. Okay. Commandos. Could use bodyguards Redaio radio frequency. Now they are under your command. All right, guys. We're going to have to try and not only <clears throat> defend this vehicle, um, but bring some support over. Or not defend this vehicle, defend this location. First things first, let's get rid of any enemy vehicles in the area. We're bringing in airstrikes to do this, guys. And if we fail, we simply lose the mission. There's, there's no other way here. Uh, bring in another airstrike right there. And we've got buildings behind us with tremendous amounts of enemy. So I'm also going to go ahead and bring them in. But hopefully the Tiger Squad can keep these guys alive. I'm even going to drop some smoke right there. It's possible that we cannot get our units over. We're going to try to bring the BMP, of course. We've got this guy here. He's trying to help, of course. But it ain't easy. Enemy in the mosque. Bring rain hell on the enemy at this point. That's what I'm talking about. We need more of that. Another huge bomb to hit that building. Bunker Buster. But it looks like our guy is going to be killed in a second almost. That uh, airstrike spotter. There's just no way he's going to make it out. Come on. Come on. Oh! One more strike right on top of these guys. That was nice, but I don't think it really did much. What we really want to do is get that vehicle. Our assault squad, I'm going to send them into this mosque. 
Uh, maybe we can take cover in the mosque, actually. It's not such a bad idea. Uh, but it looks like we need to actually control this position completely. That's it for our airstrike spotter. No, he does not have any more attacks. I'm gonna have to get him out of this building and just try to make it to the mosque. Got to survive. Uh, we'll keep his bodyguard unit here to hold out, pretty much. Uh, let's go. Straight for the mosque. Come on. Come on, brother. Get back over here where the rest of our men are. Got one of our men in the mosque. We've gotta get the rest of them, though. In fact, I'd love to get the driver in there, but I don't think he's gonna make the run. Even the vehicle crew could be useful in taking this mosque. Let's go for it. Charge with the vehicle crew. And with our spotter, I'm just going to try to keep him out of harm's way. We are dealing with a lot of enemy attacks here. Uh, and I'm going to try to get our guys in this building and see if we can't destroy some vehicles. But man, this, this is a tough mission. We better get some support. Our driver was killed by the ISIS fighter there. Oh my goodness. Come on. Come on, finally! We finally got in there. But actually, our vehicle crew is pretty badly damaged. So we're still protecting that airstrike spotter. Let's get him in the mosque. <clears throat> Everybody in the mosque. Well, anybody that is still alive in this area, at least. And let's see if we can't hold out. Unfortunately, the bodyguard unit is in a much worse position than we are. He also doesn't have any more uh, rounds for his uh, ET rifle. So I'm going to try to pop smoke here and try to get them also into the uh, building. That's all we're doing right now, guys, protecting the airstrike spotter. We did get um, a destroyed enemy BMP right here, but you can see their forces absolutely knocked out um, our fighter squad here. That was our last fighter squad in that part of the city. Now, we do still have some engineers, but their assistance is limited. We're really leaving it up to our allies over here uh, to carry on the fight and beat ISIS once and for all. I don't want to leave this position at all. But we may not have an option. Let's see if there's an RPG. It's an RPO. Thermo something. No, I want the RPG-7. Anti-tank guided missiles. That's all we need. That's all we need. Get in there and fire the damn rocket. You can see him from here for sure. He's getting up in the minaret. Look at that. Now, the question is, can he actually get the shot from there? I believe he can. Come on, come on, come on. He's actually going to fire it from here. ATGM. Driver down. Nice. Beautiful. And... Oh, yes. What did I tell you, boys? I had a feeling we'd get in there. Although, we've still got ISIS fire from over this area. Man. There's some vehicle over there that we're just not seeing. Um, we're going to evacuate with our Tigers. And hopefully we can actually locate that vehicle. But again, we still have to protect our, uh, our air spotter. So I'm going to keep him kind of over here. <clears throat> I don't want any harm to come to him at all. Although maybe with our engineers, we could take over that building. It's probably not a bad idea. Let's just go take that building back from the enemy, because they could fire across uh, at the actual spotter, and that's the last thing we need. Now, there's another interesting vehicle right there that we could also go for. Uh, I'm going to try to get a shot on it. We've got three anti-tank guided missiles here. Come on, come on, come on. Set up, set up. Don't don't move forward, just set up an attack. I guess they have to get closer. Damn it, one of our boys is down. See, they took too long to set up. Took way too long to set up. Come on, man. Oh, oh, missed. It actually hit the building. He's going to have to reload that damn thing now. He's still got two rounds, though. And we still have to also try to take out that ISIL tank at the end of the street if we can. Come on. Got to get closer. 
Ribbon Muson. Never mind. Oh, I'm gonna try to get out of his range and actually attack the tank. All right, let's let's just get into the building here. Hopefully, he won't spot us and we have time to set up and fire. Not so sure. But these are tigers. They know how to fight ISIL. Nope. Unfortunately, killed in the building. Man, that is unfortunate. our engineers can pick up some weapons um i don't think so so i was trying to grab the rpg7 but the thing is i don't think we can actually grab that uh, as an engineer unit what we might be able to do is try to take over this building but even that seems pretty unlikely what if our airstrike spotter grab one of these weapons no even he can't so we're going to have to come up with a new idea, guys. Otherwise, I think that we have lost. We just need more units to be able to uh, accomplish this mission. The other option is to try and just charge that building. Hope for the best. Come on, driver. As for the airstrike spotter, you stay right there. But maybe if we can take more of this area, um, the company will, will see fit to send us some reinforcements. Who knows? They've already got some snipers on the roof. It's not going to be an easy building to take, I can already tell. Uh, let's try and get some smoke down there if we can. The driver's already freaking out. And he should, because they've got an actual AT grenade. Uh, nonetheless, we're going for it. Inshallah for Syria, go! Ooh! At this point, they're just firing rounds over us. And this is like, uh, enemy behind the lines. Because we've got one of our guys still alive there. And we're sending in an engineer squad to try and take this position. Let's see what happens. Oh my goodness, look at all that support. They've even got an additional vehicle here. There's no way our boys are going to be able to take the building. They definitely killed some ISIL inside, um, but not enough to, to take this position. So all I'm going to do is stay here with the commander, um, or, or the spotter, I should say, and hope that I can keep him alive to the very end of the battle. Um, we will come back, and we'll tell you guys what happened. That's it, guys. We've used up all of our ammunition. Um, we've lost all of our men. We're going for a final attack with the the controller here because he does have some grenades. Uh, so trying to weaken up ISIS for our allies. But I don't think it's going to work out so well. So at this point, I'm going to retreat back. He does have a few more grenades to throw. Come on. Come on. And at this point, that is all this guy has. It's going to be the end for our man. It just wouldn't have been possible without additional uh, troops. Uh, so we're going to fall back and await for reinforcements. The end of the Battle of Deir el Zur. We'll be back another day to teach ISIS a lesson. But that was a lesson learned on our part. My question is, how much damage did we actually do to ISIS? Um, did we do serious damage or not? Enemy infantry killed 165 to R25. I'm going to call that a victory either way, even though we lost. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed these videos, make sure to hit that like button, drop a comment, and subscribe. As you know, this is not a video liked by you-know-who, um, so usually we don't even get any uh, monetization on it. Uh, so that subscription really helps, and sharing the video really helps. Thanks again, and I hope you guys are staying safe at home and playing Virtual War instead of out there with the real COVID war. Take care, guys.